We are trying to explore the characteristics of transformed functions and these are preparation for your test. Now in each video I'll discuss one aspect of the function and you need to write down other characteristics of the function as an exercise. So this one is consider the function y equals to absolute x. Write increasing decreasing interval for a transformed function y equals to 1 minus f of x plus 2. Now as I have always said when you have a function like this it's a good idea to rewrite it in a way which you are familiar which is we should write this as y equals to minus of f of x plus 2 plus 1. So that gives you very clearly that here we have vertical reflection on x-axis translation two units to the left and one unit up. Now this is going to transform the function and thereby this reflection is mainly going to affect increasing and decreasing. The increasing interval becomes decreasing interval because of this, right? Because of this reflection and the decreasing will become increasing. So it swaps the intervals. And these two points here will change the point from where the interval divides. Do you understand? So these are the points which change. So first we will try to do it like theoretically so that we can straight away answer a multiple choice question fast. In absolute x, where is the vertex? So we have a vertex here. Let's say vertex in absolute x will be actually at 0, 0. Now what happens to this vertex? So we are talking about, let's call this line for absolute x. And then we'll consider what happens to our transform function which is 1 minus f of, so I'm writing this at present, I should have written that, x plus 2. Now in this particular function, what happens to the vertex? The x points changes to minus 2. And the y points multiply by minus 1, add 1. So y point becomes this. So this is what has happened to the vertex, right? And now, if you have this absolute function, then let me sketch it on the side and show you what we are trying to do. So we have this absolute function here, and it will look like this. So that is absolute x with vertex at origin. Now as you can see here in this function, absolute x function, what is this interval? Minus infinity to 0, it is decreasing. Do you see that? This is decreasing interval. And then from 0 to infinity, it is increasing. This is on our absolute x function. Now what happens on the transform function? First thing, the point changes. So the point changes to minus 2, 1 because of this transformation, right? So it is now not at 0, 0, but the vertex of this or the corner of our absolute function is now at minus 2, 1. So let us say minus 2 and 1 is kind of here, okay? Let's say this is minus 2, 1. So that is the first part. And second, what is happening is, because of this, it actually gets reflected downwards. Do you see that? So it gets reflected downwards, kind of like this. This is the second chain. So what really happens here is, in transform function, the interval which was decreasing becomes increasing. You have to see from left to right. Always see your function as you go from left to right. So if you go from left to right, you see earlier it was decreasing, now it is increasing. Do you see that? And therefore, what you have here in your function is increasing interval. Right? So increasing where? It is increasing from minus infinity to minus 2. And after the vertex or the corner, this is at minus 2, it is decreasing. Do you see that? And it is decreasing from minus 2 
to infinity thereafter. So that is what happens. So when you have a function, and if you see that it's reflected on x-axis, right, then the y values, they swap, they mean they become lesser instead of greater, correct? So that causes the shift. Do you understand? So that is why the interval which was originally decreasing becomes increasing. And second, the shift in vertex changes the x value. So instead of from minus infinity to zero, now we have an increasing interval from minus infinity to minus two and decreasing thereafter. Do you see that? So that is how the transform function's characteristics change. And I hope with this, you get fairly good idea of how increasing and decreasing intervals can be interpreted. Thank you.